I'm Tiffany Young with IDA TV, and I'm here with Alec Puro, an award-winning music composer um, for film and television. Can you tell us some of the projects uh, and the, the work that you've done that we can uh, recognize your work in? Yeah, I scored a show for a long time called The Fosters on ABC Family. I do a show called Sweet Vicious on MTV, and I just finished a film called All Nighter with J.K. Simmons and Emile Hirsch that just came out last week and, you know, various other projects. How did you become a music composer? When did you realize that this was your calling? I was obviously, like most, in bands for a very long time. And uh, I was in a band called Dead Z, and as we were kind of like touring the world, basically, I was like, am I going to do this for the rest of my life? You know, I, I definitely, a lot of my friends were kind of, you know, producing short form content and whatnot. And I started, you know, scoring, you know, short films and licensing music. And from there, I, you know, got into feature films. And I was like, wow, this is definitely the direction I'd like to go in. And the band slowly took a break, and it was the perfect opportunity. Is it a huge jump to go from a, a band to doing like TV and films? Like, how was that? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it definitely can be and is, but uh, luckily for me, it kind of one sort of flowed into the next. I mean, the, the skill set is completely different. Like, you know, writing a song as opposed to writing a score is, you know, it's just a totally different approach. But it's something that, like with anything, you kind of, after doing it and doing it and doing it, you kind of get better and better. So yeah, it, it, luckily mine kind of flowed together nicely. Do you have any mentors that um, really directed your path in music? I mean, yeah, luckily, you know, I grew up in uh, Los Angeles and luckily I was exposed to a lot of kind of cool people that I looked up to. I mean, you know, like God, the, the word mentor is such a, a big right. thing, but I mean, people that really kind of helped me and put me on my path. I mean, I, I was very close with, with Jackson Brown for a long time and he, you know, gave me my first guitar and amp and was just like, you gotta write songs and, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I definitely would seek out advice from others. You know, James Newton Howard was a family friend and he, I mean, that guy's given me so much amazing advice. He's just the most prolific composer, <laughs> you know. Yeah ever. Uh, so I was very lucky in that sense. I, I was exposed to some people that were, you know, doing what I really wanted to do. And it's just, you, you, you know, you want to like figure out how do you, you know, how do you get there? And so, I mean, advice is it's just the best thing ever. So, so working in TV and film, um, what are the upsides of both? I mean, for me, I, I started out doing films, which I love. And obviously with film, you have a little more time. Right. You know, it's it's not episodic. So, like in TV, you know, I'll score a TV show sometimes in like a day, two days, three days, like just stream of consciousness almost because you have this deadline, which I really like. But then when you do a film, you have a lot more time to kind of, you know, experiment with stuff, you know, really, you know, kind of sit there and think about it and, you know, I, which is good and bad because you know sometimes you go full circle because you're right, overthinking right. so I, I do like the fast pace of TV for sure but I mean I creatively they're both you know awesome well yeah and just being able to work and make music I, whatever it is I'm I, I'm, in, I, I'm into it yeah so now do you um, watch and, and listen to your work afterwards or it's funny not these days I kind of don't I feel like I don't know I learned early on you know once a piece of music leaves the studio and you're like oh my god this is what it should sound like you know it goes to the mixer and to the music editor and then you know uh, it usually ends up sounding great but I, I don't know for some reason once I haven't been watching I, watching a lot with films uh, you know you go to the premiere and you watch the movie and with shows, you know, here and there, I'll catch an episode, but I kind of, I don't know, I feel like music, I like just like putting things out into the universe and you kind of, you never know what's gonna come back and it's like, I just, I wanna keep outputting and kind of, you know, keeping that creative thing going. Well, yeah, and being like, why did they mix my music so low? Or wait, that cue's not even there. Or, you know, like, because it's, it's not, you're, I'm not, it's not like making a record where it's like, this is my record. When you're scoring a film, you're servicing somebody else's vision. And it's like, if they want to pull out the guitar and only have the drums in, if they, that's totally their right. And they're, you know, at the, in the, at the end of the day, you're servicing, you know, what's on screen. So 
I'm all for it, and I'm just a little piece of the puzzle. So yeah, I just like to kind of just keep pushing forward. Yeah. Uh, well, I have one last question, and it's a fun one. So since we're at WonderCon, um, if you could choose any superpower, what would it be and why? Wow, that's a, that's a good question. I don't know. I think it would be, I've always wanted to fly yeah. for obvious reasons. Right. Probably getting home today would be awesome if I could just fly rather than sit in my car. Right. But yeah, flying, I, I, I occasionally have flying dreams. Yeah, but I, yeah, and just being able to cruise, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like scenic route every time. Yeah, you know, like the crow flies. You yeah. were, get get home real quick. Literally. Oh, yeah. The crow flies. yeah. Except in my dreams, for some reason, I don't fly like Superman. I, 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 I somehow, I like flap my wings. Oh, okay. And my arms. arms. And somehow yeah. it, it works. So, yeah. Right. There you go. Well, cool. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Tiffany Young, ID8 TV.